Hi friends, welcome back to another video from Good to Know. So today's video is about an interesting topic which is viral across the globe. Yes, it's nothing other than chat GPT. So I have Anjali, my new team member who is going to be presenting this video with me. Over to you Anjali. Thank you Vijay for this opportunity. Let me take over and present this video. Hi friends, welcome to another video from Good to Know. Before we start, let me also say that if you have not subscribed this channel, please do and support us. Your support means a lot to us. And also don't forget to share it with your friends and family and share your feedback and comments. Okay, let's get started. Just in case, if you have not heard of chat GPT then, you are behind. And it looks like this is going to be a technology that is threatening to kill Google, if this becomes up to date. I will tell you later why I say this. We have been using chat GPT for past couple of months and found it very interesting and insane. So. As you know, in this video we are going to talk about the most happening topic, which is currently the talk of the town. So, in this video we are going to cover four high level topics. 1. Introduction to chat GPT and a brief of the company history. 2. How does it work? 3. Few examples to show you the working of chat GPT and 4. Pros and cons. Okay, let's get started. This is the latest AI software, which is making revolution. With this AI software, you can write emails, do your homeworks assignment, project work, it can become your teacher, lawyer, mentor, trainer and the possibilities look endless. As mentioned, early chat GPT is an AI bot, AI is of course, is artificial intelligence. Besides what I said early, chat GPT means generative pre-training and transformers and the prefix chat refers to get all that you are looking for in a simple chat. In simple words chat GPT is a conversational artificial intelligence chat bot. One interesting information is that, it got 1 million user in just 5 days when it was launched. It was considered as an incredible milestone. If it was not that effective this wouldn't be possible. Now a little bit of history or background. Chat GPT started way back in 2015 by many individual investors including Elon Musk as one of the investor though he stepped down later with the goal of advancing artificial intelligence to the next level. It was developed by OpenAI. Microsoft is a major investor in OpenAI. To fight the monopoly of Google hence, I early I said, this is threatening to kill Google. The first version of the GPT language model was introduced by OpenAI in June 2018. Then, GPT-2 was introduced in February 2019 and was a much larger and more powerful than GPT-1, with 1.5 billion parameters. Later, in May 2020, OpenAI released the third version of the GPT, called GPT-3, with 175 billion parameters. GPT-3 is currently the largest and most powerful language model available. GPT-3 has shown remarkable abilities in generating human-like text, answering questions, and even writing codes. So, companies like ChatGPT have made venture capital firms to have invested more than $1.7 billion in such AI solutions since 2020, that is in past two years. Studies also say, by 2025, 30% of outbound messages from companies will be synthetically generated, meaning 30% of all the messages will be written by bots. Last year this figure was only 2%, and it is said, by 2030, 90% of a major blockbuster film will be generated by AI. As of now AI is not making any films. So, as I said early this technology is revolutionary to say. Now let's see how this works. It is available on the website, just search in Google for OpenAI or ChatGPT and it will take you to that website. No download required, just sign in and log in. You simply have to type your question in the text box on the chat GPT page, which will then prompt the program with the keyword, a sentence, a question of race, and once you have given this prompt, you will get the response within seconds beside that. As said early chat GPT can also answer the follow-up questions, which is very interesting, it can challenge incorrect, reject inappropriate queries, and even admit its mistakes. I am not getting in detail of the technicalities involved to keep it simple. However, would like to quote that it uses a technology called RLHF that is reinforcement learning human feedback, which refers to the process of incorporating human feedback into a reinforcement learning RL system. RL is a type of machine learning. In simple words, it is trained by human with prefed responses. The AI bot first understands the keywords and the context of the question irrespective of the spelling and grammar. It obtains the multiple responses and ranks them and then provide the best response from the pre-training provided to it with a large amount of text data. An interesting thing I want to say here, 
is about its ability. Chat GPT took an MBA exam at the Wharton School of Business. You know what? It got a B grade. That's better than what many humans can score. Another example is that the professors at the Minnesota University Law School gave Chat GPT four separate tests, and it again scored an average grade of C. Not bad for a bot. And to keep in mind is it's still being developed. I mean, it's still learning, which means it is not even the final product. So many schools and colleges in France, US, and even in India are already banning the use of this software, formally restricting. Additionally, it's not just the education that's being disrupted. The same applies across sectors like legal fraternity. What if ChatGPT offer legal consulting? Likewise, businesses, the IT companies, and many more. It would certainly take away many jobs. It can also comprehend large articles and big books and even movies. Isn't it interesting? Okay, now Vijay will walk us through few examples for real-time experience for those who haven't seen it. Over to you, Vijay. Thanks. Okay, let's see some examples before we see the pros and cons. Uh, before we conclude, let's take an example. Of how to make pizzas at home? I'm going to check in Google. See, I see about a huge number of results which have come in, and these are the recipes and other things so you got to search what is that you want okay let's do that in uh, chat gpt you see instantly you start getting the responses so it says about the ingredients it says about the instructions how you want to make this is uh, not fast forwarded it's live the next interesting thing which we've been talking about is let's assume we don't have a microwave so I'll just show you an example of a follow-up question. Uh, what if I don't have a microwave? Let's me type some wrong spelling to see. What if I don't have a microwave? Let's see what the response is. If you don't have a microwave, you can still make pizzas using it. Okay, let me stop it here. And then I'm going to say, I don't have a microwave either. So that's another follow-up question. If you don't have a microwave, you can still make pizzas using it. Stop, stop. Here is an example. See, what else can I use instead of cheese? Let's see what it got to say. See that? That's the beauty of it. These are instant. Huh? It just takes a fraction of seconds and then it starts giving you the responses. Very detailed and it's not like you got to read and understand. It is a very human uh, response sort of text conversation. Okay, let's check this one. What is the price of petrol in Bangalore today? See, you see this? I don't have real-time access to uh, current petrol price in Bangalore. You see that? This is the response uh, Chad GPT gives. Okay, let's try another one. All right, let's check this one. What are the speciality of 12th March 2023? Let's see what the response is. As an AI model, we do not have access to them. Okay, so here also you see this. So the data is available only till September 2021. So that's the limitations Chat GPT has at today. What uh, Chat GPT would answer if I ask how to make a bomb? I'm sorry, but I. The AI model cannot provide instruction on how to make bomb or any other weapons. It's illegal and unethical to create and use such devices and can be wow. <laughs> That's interesting, right? Good. Uh, so a student has been asked to list down something about the history. Okay, list down the key events in Indian history between 1900 to 2022. Let's see what uh, chat GPT lists. Okay, 1900 International Congress adopted this opportunity. Wow, that's amazing, right? So this helps the students to, you know, study fantastically. It's clean. Right, so 1960, end of Pakistan war. Kargil war with Pakistan. Oh, that's amazing. India successfully launched this space mission. Wow. 
that's fantastic i've been saying you know unlike google you don't have to go identify uh, search for it in google make notes you know consolidate it list down the events and then you know shortlist it get the key events and things like this this is a ready made uh, response if you see this right so this is exactly the best advantage i would say for uh, the learning so i would say this is the best example in terms of how it can be utilized for the educational purposes so it's been you know misused as well i assume that you know it were uh, the examples i showed was you know productive it was really useful and you got the gist of how chat gpt works all right so let's move on to talk about the pros and cons uh, before we conclude this video all right so i've listed down five pros and cons uh, which i felt were really useful please go ahead and you know comment and let me know if there are any other pros and cons which are important as in from your perspective all right let's start with the pros so the first one is you know the technology so this is going to be the technology of the future we have told is a killer of google this may disrupt or uh, this is going to you know be more prominently used by all the users from the early conversation with anjali what i have shown and all of that so we literally understand this is going to be the technology of the future moving on to the next one that's the versatility it has got right doesn't limit to any specific segment it is versatile it, if you can go and check when chat gpt it, it responds it provides response from you know social media to legal to you know construction to it and it's even said that it can write codings uh, using chat gpt and uh, let me move on to the next one which is the efficiency as i said it is very efficient you don't need to go search uh, consolidate it and so on so it provides everything you would have seen that in the past example the next one is you know the follow up question part that's the most uh, favorite one of mine because every time you have a follow up question you will have to do it all over whereas here it it responds for all your follow up questions i'm sure you would accept that and then the last one is last but not the least is you know the, the diplomatic response it gives it has filter it has multiple filters and it has something called a moderation api which basically does not uh, allow it to you know provide any information which is harmful or you know which is illegal so these are said early these are basically prefed responses so the company has policies and procedures in place to you know make sure they don't give out any illegal information basically this moderation api ensures that you know the filters are in place it doesn't give any illegal information it doesn't give inaccurate information it uh, uh, abides by the uh, rules and regulations and the policies in place now moving on to the cons the biggest uh, one today and it is not the full fledged version as said early so this is this has data only till september 2021 right so anything post that uh, it doesn't have and uh, data are fed until september 2021 is what is said so that's the biggest limitation at the point in time then the next one is you know about the accuracy Yes uh, at least for me till now there has been no inaccurate information from chat gpt not sure if any of you have got if you have got uh, please do comment and let me know so that i am also uh, updated on that and the biggest thing is you know you, nobody watches for the uh, data accuracy it is not guaranteed or you can't take it to anyone and say that you know chat gpt provided this response so this has to be accepted so that's the one Look. challenge we have on it and then the next one is the disruption it's going to cause quite a lot of disruptions anticipated across sectors people are going to lose jobs left right and center companies are going to you know incorporate these uh, chatbots and so on okay. and then the next one is you know human intervention again it is not independent as of today though it is called machine learning uh, it uses multiple technologies it is human dependent at this point in time it has not become independent and then last but not the least 
the most important one anybody would be worrying is you know it's going to be costly is what it said because the company ceo himself told that you know at this point in time it costs about 5 cents to you know create each response so if this is going to be the next revolution in you know it's going to come to a level of you know replacing google and then in that situation the cost of operating this is going to be somewhere about 400 to 500 million okay so if it's going to be 400 to 500 million obviously they cannot you know provide this free as it is today so they will start charging it is what data say you know so if it's going to be charged or basically they will say that you know you got to subscribe and then subscribers are only entitled to you know use chat gpt with a nominal fee or whatever it is going to be so it is obviously going to be a costly affair once it reaches to a level of you know point where it is like google hope you enjoy this video please do comment and let me know your thoughts feedbacks inputs thanks for watching stay tuned please like share and subscribe if not already done bye until i see you in the next video